Good girl. Hey everyone. Uh, most people know me as Barney. Uh, this is Saki, my little sidekick. Um, so today is Tuesday afternoon on the 6th of December. Um, we are making a quest for the last week of deer and elk season archery here. Um, I have a stock mountain bow cow elk tag. Um, we're down by, oh, not too far from Lincoln City. Um, we're up in the, up in the hills, um, getting ready to take care of this, and hopefully we can harvest an animal. Um, not a real given in this challenging area. A lot of hillsides, a lot of brush. Um, you can have uh, ravines that drop off a thousand yards. If you drop an animal in there, it'll probably take you a month to get out without a helicopter. Um, so you have to be choiceful of what you do. Uh, if you do get a shot, if God gives you that one chance, uh, make it right. Um, the biggest problem is the end of the week, it's going to just get some bad weather in here. Um, the worst problem with that is if you shoot an animal, uh, your blood sign, blood trail, uh, hitting one with a bow, it could go 100 to 200 yards. Uh, you know, blood washout is a big thing. Um, so when you come out in the woods like this, uh, be prepared. Take extra rations, um, you know, just just be prepared. Um, I use uh, Onyx Hunt. Of course, I'm not sponsored by them or anything, but, uh, you know, it shows your location. It tracks you through the woods. It's one of the best tools. I think it's like $30 a year or something. Um, one of the best things I've found uh, to help you out in the woods. Also, Topo Map's a good idea. Make sure you have a compass, uh, plenty of water, water purifier, just in case. Um, like I say, extra food, uh, blankets, extra clothes in case you get wet. Uh, the coast range is brutal, um, and uh, it can turn on you in no time. Um, this time of year, I love the fall season, um, and you know all the animals have uh, the deck of cards in their play. They have 47, and I have five. Um, my my deck, or my five cards, basically are the ace of spades and uh, four deuces. And uh, you know, it's uh, it's a challenge out here. Anybody that thinks uh, bow hunting is uh, is easy, it's not. Um, especially in the coast range, uh, it's very difficult. Um, we do use cow calls out here, um, but uh, it's just a challenge. You have uh, five factors against you. You have the wind. Uh, you have Mother Nature. You have uh, scent. Um, you know, sound um, and sight. Um, they they are really keen out here and uh, you got to play it right. Um, the biggest problem is uh, most of the time you have to cruise, look at clear cuts, look around, um, find sign. Uh, it's very difficult to find them out here. But anyway, I hope you uh, will enjoy this uh, little video and I don't think it's going to be too short because I'm going to be out here for a few days, um, five I guess or something. Uh, hunt ends on Sunday. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Um, I'm going to try to video this whole thing as we go and, and just kind of give you the adventure as it goes. Um, that's uh, kind of how it's going to play out and we'll see what happens. Um, hopefully it'll be an exciting video. I hope you can stay till the end. Uh, we'll see if we make it. Um, I don't really give up. So um, LWS Wolfpack, we are out here ready to go and uh, we'll see what happens. So stay tuned my friends. Mahalo. Well, good morning. It's uh, Wednesday, and uh, we're like on the Salmon River Highway. There's Saki. Saki, look up here. There you go. What are you doing? We're uh, we're on this big, huge, clear-cut thing here. It's kind of foggy this morning, but uh, we'll see. It's uh, Wednesday morning, and uh, got us some coffee going on this primitive shit. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it was a rough night. I couldn't sleep very well for some reason. I don't know, probably because I'm sleeping in the back of a Jeep with a dog. But uh, we're going to do some hunting today and see what happens. So, uh, back till later. Mahalo. Hey guys, how's it going? So, it's uh, Wednesday, 
about 11.30, time for some brunch. I forgot half the shit, but I got the bacon and eggs, so, and I got this huge dagger, so it's pretty sharp. But, uh, oh yeah, I also never leave my house without my 9 and my 45. And, uh, you know, let's take a look at that Kimber, because I haven't shot it yet. That's a beautiful piece, man. So, this afternoon, probably have to rip some rounds out of the Kimber, see how she shoots. Um, it's brand new, so that'll be interesting. And, uh, so yeah. Anyway, saw four deer this morning, no bucks. Saki thinks she wants some bacon. I think you probably do, right? This dagger's really sharp, so be careful, Saki. You're gonna get some bacon? Yeah. So, you know, camp stove and a mess kit works good for me. I'm a rough at adventure kind, so that's how it works. Anyway, I'm gonna try to make my way to Drift Creek. See if there's any elk over there. Haven't seen much sign. I got on this big ridge here and it's pretty steep and if you shot one down in here it'd probably take you like a month to get out. So I think I'm gonna go to a lower land and go check that out for the afternoon hunt. So yeah, that's pretty much it so far for Wednesday. Um, weather's pretty nice. Some rain's coming in. So we'll see how that goes. Anyway, that's the update. Um, I'm sitting about 925 feet right now, and we got to go down a little lower because, like I say, if you shot one off this ridge, it'd take me till like January to get it out of here by myself. So I'm going to take it easy on myself and not burn myself out because I got a few more days. But uh, so that's the sort of this, you know, stop mountain elk hunt that's going on. So uh, be safe out there. America, this is what we do out in the woods. It's great good time you know it's nice to be off work and and out hunting so uh stay tuned and i'll be back uh mahalo take care this is about as gourmet as it gets you know it's a bow hunter's egg right there they're almost done and then we got our bacon here i think our a little test creature, I'll probably have to try some. What do you think, Saki? Good? Mm-hmm. Don't overcook your bacon. You ever go to a restaurant and they bring it to you and it's just like dry and hard and shit? Leave that delicious flavor in that bacon. What do you think, girl? Right on. Alright, it's time for brunch and we're going to go hunting again. Mahalo, my friends. Dagger to the foot. Well, good morning. It's uh, Thursday morning. We're on Lindsay Ridge. Uh, we came up here last night because it was dark and I had to find a camp, so we found this spot. <laughs> but it's pretty cool. It's not bad. Where's Saki at? She's hanging out here somewhere. There she is. She's probably freezing her ass off because it's cold up here. Got a little snow last night, so we're going to check out Lindsay Ridge. Um, I think I said, yeah, it's Thursday morning. Uh, Wildcat Mountain, or no, Cougar Ridge is over here. Cougar Mountain. Excuse me. Um, that's like 1,900 feet. We are about 1,850 feet right now. Um, it's, you know, it's woods. Uh, saw four deer yesterday, no bucks. Of course, just all does. Haven't seen any elk, so we're still searching. Um, you know, 
it's kind of brutal out here because it's cold and you know so on but uh, you know it is the hunt and I have a few more days and just trying to keep it from not bagging out and you know just going home because it's goddamn cold out here but anyway uh, you know the search goes on so uh, making some more coffee before we take off and we'll go uh, check the woods and see what happens uh, yesterday of course I made a bonehead move I took my rods I usually put them I usually put a lot of gear up on top of my Jeep right fishing rods and such okay there's the rest of my fishing rods but I did leave my six weight fly rod my trout rod on top of the Jeep and I was driving down the road and I heard something fall off the Jeep and of course I didn't check it guess what last night I was pulling out my gear and I was like oh shit my fly rod what happened to it and I was like yeah well it's gone so it may be on the road that's going to Lincoln City it's probably trash by now somebody probably picked it up or ran it over so whatever I'll have to buy a new one you know that's what happens anyway um, it looks like the coffee's boiling on our beautiful little camp stove there of course I've got the bigger camp stove too but this one just works great for coffee so it's time for some coffee I'll talk to you soon um, hope you enjoy this trip it's a little crazy nothing big is going on but you never know anything can happen when you're out in the woods Peace, America. Love you. Mahalo. Talk to you soon. Uh, this is elk hunting, you know, in December. So, it is what it is. Well, we got till the weekend. And, uh, hopefully, we haven't seen any tracks up here. So, well, we're going to head down and go to Drift Creek now because I haven't been there yet. I got into some elk a couple of years ago there. So we're going to go check that out and see what happens. And uh, see if we can find something. And it's a little bit lower elevation, I think. Uh, so there's probably not too much snow. Anyway, overland we go in the Jeep Grand Cherokee. Good little rigs. Peace, my friends. Mahalo. We're out here. I just found this really cool road with this reprod in it um, and look look at that the first fresh elk crap all over the place look at that pile yeah 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 check it check it that is totally fresh it's probably this morning a bunch more down here So this might be a good road to check out. There's a bunch more. I don't know when it was, but probably a day maybe. But they might be running through this prod. Good girl. Good girl. So, I'm going to go check out my Drift Creek area and maybe come back up here. I'll mark it on the uh, on X hunt, so I know. So, I'm just northeast from where I seen the elk shit on the road. I thought I'd rip down this road, it's really tight. Left the Jeep up there, so Saki and I just kind of walked down here to see if we could see any more sign. They may be just traversing that road in different areas. So, um, I have cell service. This might be a good spot for a camp tonight and look in the morning. But uh, jump it, Saki. Jump it, Saki. Go this way. Under. Good girl. So, we'll see what happens. I'm still trying to get the drift crick this afternoon it's already like quarter after one so we're gonna make our trek down there see if we see any fresh sign maybe come back up here for tonight so we'll see what happens you know it's elk hunting that's how it works but uh nice forest i mean it really is it's uh it's pretty calm a little chilly a little windy but uh we'll see what happens you know it's only thursday so mahalo my friends uh, stay tuned peace God bless America.
So yesterday I didn't get to shoot the Kimber ACP 45 The Lord's Round The Kimber Brand new So let's give it a try First time shooting. See what happens. Damn, that's a nice shooting gun. That is a nice shooting gun. That is a nice shooting weapon right there. I tell you what, that's a beauty. Nice. Okay, well it wasn't raining so I figured I'd shoot it. Anyway, there it is. Mahalo. We're off to hunting again. So hey Al, uh, it's Thursday night. Um, it's raining like crazy. I mean, like it's pretty stupid. Um, so, uh, I didn't want to go too far away from where I found the elk crap on the road because we need to go check that out in the morning. So, of course, in the middle of the night, well, it was dark because it gets dark at 4.30 or whatever, 5, which is stupid on fall hunt because, you know, fall hunt, you only get so many hours to hunt. And, you know, I enjoy fall hunting. I really don't like the, the summer hunt, um, but fall hunt, you've only got to... A little bit of time to do anything um, so Saki and I are like huddled under this 5 by 7 tarp that I bought at Bimart you know and so here's the Jeep right here someplace I don't know where the Jeep is right here we have this 5 by 7 tarp and um, so there's Saki and you know it's kind of funny because what the and we have a little fire going here just like on the grass because you couldn't burn the grass around here if you wanted to and there was no fire pit so I just went for it you know because we have a fire extinguisher and a shovel and everything so it's all good we're out in the middle of the forest who the hell cares but anyway so it's kind of funny because uh, the hilarious thing is if you open the back of the Jeep it has a cover right so the dog won't stand her there she'll stand out in the rain so I put this tarp up and of course she's out in the grass laying there i'm like it's raining like hell Saki, you're getting all wet because i don't need a wet dog in bed right so i'm trying to dry her out so i made this fire but anyway um just thought i'd check in it's just you know it's been a hunt i don't even know if i'll see any more animals it's you know one of those things but it doesn't matter it's out here enjoying yourself um being stupid and just uh, you know it's all about the hunt it's about being alone um you find kind of a I don't know, spiritual kind of thing about being alone and and uh, I've always enjoyed it, but I have my dog with me, so, you know, we're, we're good. And um, I just kind of like this, I got a few days left and uh, then I'm gonna have to go back to work and deal with society again. And I'll tell you what, society is just one of those things, you know, it's just something you tolerate, but I enjoy being able to take a week off and, and going out here and messing around and, and just, uh, you can't even see me very well. There you go, a little bit. Um, you know, just uh, doing it. It's pretty cold out here. Um, we're roughing it. I'm gonna make the bed in the Jeep. I gotta make something to eat real quick and then we're gonna trek on tomorrow and see what we find. Uh, of course, we have to go to town because we need some provisions, but other than that, uh, we're making the best of it. Um, Bow hunting is bow hunting, and you either are a survivalist or you're not. I mean, you know, you can hang out at the house all week and do nothing, but I kind of like the spirit of the wild. Uncle Ted, Uncle Ted, you know it. I like being out here. It's fun. It's quiet. It's pretty exciting. Never know what could happen. I have uh, 
many guns with me, so I'm safe. And uh, to all of you out there, have a safe Thursday night, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Mahalo. Take care. God bless America. Have a good night. So this is the fine element of elk hunting in the Sioux Slaw National Forest. I went down here to see if there's any elk, and of course now it's night, and it's really hard to see the road. And I'll tell you what, these side roads can get pretty brutal. So, you know, if you're gonna do this, you gotta be into a little bit of vehicular homicide. <laughs> and uh, the Jeep Grand Cherokee's a tough one. She does it. But uh, it's kind of crazy, it's really hard to see the road. It's uh, Friday night and we're now gonna try to venture out on the other side of the windstorm because it's windy as shit on the side. We try to find a sheltered camp that's not so windy. Uh, the wind's whipping through here pretty good. And I'll stop for a second. You can probably see how windy it is on this hill. Nonetheless, we haven't seen any elk all day. Haven't really seen anything. The weather turned, it got really crappy. Um, it's getting wet. Sunday's supposed to be nice, but tomorrow's gonna be about the same today, so I'm not really looking uh, to anything special here to find any elk, but you know, I mean, that's how it is. But uh, so, we will uh, make camp tonight and uh, continue onward being soldiers and being troopers and I've got a dog that's really excited. She's, uh, her anxiety is like kicking up or something. I don't know what the problem is. But anyway, uh, until tomorrow, be safe my friends. Uh, we're going to try to be safe for sure and uh, we will see you tomorrow. Uh, be safe out there. God bless America and uh, good night. Mahalo. Well, it's Friday night, we finally found a camp. We're on a landing. It's uh, raining like crazy. Um, I don't even know what time it is. It's only like six, maybe seven. But uh, we got the, uh, you know, the mighty fine tarp <laughs> set up on the Jeep. Saki's uh, over there having some food. And uh, you know, we're staying dry and we got a little fire going on under here. So it ain't that bad. But it's windy. I'm sure the wind's died down a little bit, but you can hear it's pouring. So, uh, you know, make it or break it. That's what elk hunt's all about. So, uh, anyway, I gotta make some dinner and uh, turn in pretty soon. So, uh, we'll see what happens tomorrow. Um, have a good night, my friends. Take care out there. Mahalo. Peace. So, hard boil some eggs and uh, Cut some rainwater off the tarp to cool them down. There's your hard boiled eggs for tomorrow. Hunter's trip. This your tip. Oh yeah. 
something like it. So real quick, that's our uh, happy Saturday morning anyway. Uh, we had to wait for the rain to stop because it was brutal last night. But uh, that's kind of our makeshift uh, elk camp for last night. It actually saved our ass. We had a little fire, so it was nice. Um, it was windy and stormy, and I'm just glad that none of these trees around here fell on our Jeep because then we'd be... Well, hey, my friends. Happy Buck Wild Saturday night. So... I just want to say that uh, tomorrow's the last day of bow season um, and uh, if you've made it through the video this far I uh, hope you've enjoyed the action because uh, coast range hunting is um, something to live for uh, the last couple days we've had torrential rain um, Saki and I have made it through and uh, Saki is a little bit probably upset with me about now. Saki, where are you at? Saki, come here. Come here. Come here. Saki. Saki, come. Come. Saki, come. Come here. Good girl. Good girl. She's not really happy with me because I take her out in the middle of the woods and make her deal with the elements and and you're a trooper. I swear. You're a trooper. But anyway, tonight, um, we basically have what's left of our fire, but uh, it's a, uh, you know, Ted Nugent says it's uh, the spirit of the wild, and it really is. Um, and it's not over yet, because we still have tomorrow. Uh, we look forward to a better day because uh, the moon's out, and of course, you know, it's a, looks like a, almost a full moon, which is not going to be good. But... Um, you know, we still have one day to hunt. Uh, we head back tomorrow. Saki will be happy to get in her bed. Um, and uh, I just want to say, this whole quest, if you've held with me this whole time on this whole video, and I apologize it was this long, but I wanted to make a quest of many days of what it's like to hunt in the coast range. Um, it's not easy. We've only seen four does. We haven't seen any elk. We saw some signs of them. Uh, maybe tomorrow, you know, you never know. Like I say, they have 47 cards and I have five. I have one ace and I have four deuces. And uh, we'll just have to see what happens. Tomorrow's gonna be a better day. Maybe, I don't know. We'll just have to see how the cards play out. Um, if anybody thinks that uh, coast range hunting is a piece of cake, um, you're really, you're in for it. We've waged the elements, uh, rains, wind, oh, crazy stuff, you know? It's, um, it's been stupid. But you know what? If you don't give up, play your cards, it might happen. But in that aspect, I just want to say something. In the spirit of the moment, um, my blood brother's birthday is coming up in a few weeks. Ken, I love you. I wish you were here. Um, it always makes me sad to hunt. I love hunting, but without you, it's a totally different experience, brother. I miss you a lot. Anyway, um, sorry, it's emotional. I just thank uh, the maker for giving us wood for our fire, stopping the rain, and uh, giving us tomorrow. And that's how it works. You know, I don't know why we're here. No idea. But, uh, it's kind of a spiritual moment. 
And if you don't live your life in the moment, take risks, go out in the middle of nowhere, wage war with the elements, and uh, I always have my good companion Saki with me, and I thank God for that. And I just want you to know that uh, there are times when you're lonely, but uh, you always have somebody. There's always something there. You can never give up on life. It's kind of how it is. It's the reason uh, I really don't care if I kill something. You know, I'm out here to hunt, but I'm not out here to really I mean, I'd like to harvest an animal, of course, but it's the moment you live through. It's being in nature, enjoying the woods, seeing the waterfalls, seeing the wildlife, if you see any, but we see a lot of birds and stuff. But uh, the hunt's not over yet. You know, we've got more time. We've got bear and uh, grouse till the end of the end of the year. Um, so. You know, maybe we'll do another video on bear hunting or something. I don't know. But, um, happy Saturday night, my friends. And I hope you watch this video to the end, because we still have tomorrow. But we'll see what happens. Um, anyway, uh, we're turning in. Good night. I wish you well. God bless America. Mahalo, my friends. Be safe. Peace. Kisses for Saki. Good girl. Good girl. Good night. Come here. Well, hey friends, hopefully you made it this far. It's Sunday, it's God's day, and uh, he blessed us some with good weather finally, because the last couple days have been pretty brutal. But I never give up, because I knew today was gonna be nice. I hunted behind camp along this ridge and came up here and found this spot. Went back to camp and got sake for this video. But uh, it's been a challenge, it's been a quest, um, it's something I love to do. I love hunting. I love being out here. Um, thank God I have a good job and give me a week off to come out and enjoy myself and relax a little bit because that's what you need to do. Take time for yourself and, you know, take a day or a weekend and um, come out in the woods and enjoy it. Um, not too far from here is Drift Creek um, Trailhead. A beautiful falls in there. Really nice place. I've been there before. I didn't hike that this year. Um, but, uh, you know, don't stress out on life, life can be a bitch, and, uh, you need to find time for yourself, that's what I found out, and I enjoy, uh, hunting, and even though we didn't get anything this, this year, um, I look forward to next year, because, uh, that's just how it is, you know, it's hunting, it'd be called killing if it was that easy. This is, uh, Coast Range, brutal territory, a lot of hills, ups and downs. A lot of brush, um, did some calling, couldn't find any elk, haven't seen any bucks. And uh, if you're wondering how the eggs turned out the other night, um, you know, it's kind of amazing because I couldn't make an egg this good at the house. Maybe it's uh, Mother Nature's rainwater that, that cooled them down the right way and made them good. Mm. Or I mean, really, you can't beat that. Saki, egg white. Saki, hey, good girl. Uh, check out Saki's Facebook page, Patriot, Patriot Saki Dog. Um, she posts pictures. She can't wait to put some of her pictures on there. And I know she's a little upset with me because I drug her out here and waged war with the elements. But hey, we had a good time. Rebel camp. That's how it is. Anyway, until next time, appreciate you watching this video. I hope it's not that long and boring, but. Um, just to show you some experience out here, how we do it, what happens.
and uh, make sure you survive. Take plenty of rations with you, plenty of water, water purifier, the whole nine yards. Um, and I uh, just want to say Merry Christmas to you guys it's coming up. Um, and uh, enjoy your life. Be safe out there. You know, the wolf pack loves you, right? Boom. Mahalo, my friends. Until next time, take care. Peace. Ready, come. Find camp, Saki. Find camp. Where's camp? Where's camp? Up here? Go to camp. Good girl. Yeah.